It all started, as far as I can logically work out, somewhere in the mid-1780s. The Zulus were a small and insignificant tribe. The king's son, the young, arrogant and reckless Prince Senza Gakona, out hunting one day, was to set in motion a chain of events that would change the course of Zulu history. This is becoming very risky in Dabezi. The risk is half of the fun of it. Anyway, I'll tie off a long before my father finds out. Nandi, look, it's Prince Nanga Khan. I know. Now's your chance to meet him. I know. Go now. Take them with you. Now, Hamba. Go. Hamba. Dabezi. Dabezi. Kazu! Get the kid, 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 get Get the castle! Get the little Get out the boy, Nandi! Nandi! Ah ha! I've watched you from the bushes! Your eyes told me you love me! How can I love a man I do not know? Gigurikiki! Gigurikiki! Because I'm a king's son! And I cast a powerful shadow! Wherever I go! And you felt that shadow pass over you! Shadow? I felt no shadow. And my eyes lied to you. Gigurikiki! 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 A king's son cannot be lied to. A king's son? Hey! Kazu! I'm not for the taking. You play games with my feelings. Let us at least enjoy a messiah. And then... If I made love to you, must be much more, more than fun. So be it. What if someone sees us? No one will accept the birds. Do my eyes lie to you now? No. They show only the truth. Yeah, we're not. 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 Yeah, we're not.
Nandi. <laughs> How was it? So born about. Hey, Nandi, we've been waiting for you. <laughs> I've got good news. Gandayane has honored our family by asking to marry you. And we have agreed. There'll be a bride price of ten cattle, which we find most generous. And being that you'll be his first wife, we have decided that no matter how many others he may marry in future, you will remain his principal wife. And the first son you will bear will be considered principal heir to his father's inheritance. Upon your return from the wedding of your mother's relative to the house of Zulu, we will officially announce your betrothal to Gendayana. <laughs> What's the matter? Ten cattle, Gendayana. That is most generous. And what do you expect from me? Love? Nandi. Mother, no. This is not what I want. My apologies, Gendayana. She'll do as she's told. So am I, Nandi. I suppose no man has the right to father a wild cat unless he has the wisdom to tame it. Nandi, Gandayana is a good man. He has the patience to tolerate your temper because he loves you truly. What more would you ask for? Much more. Much more, Father. I want it ready for the celebration. Fine looking animal. Have you seen my bride to be? Seen her? I chose her. Naliwa, uchu halalab. And what is she like? Sanzanga Kona, dear brother. Need I remind you that the only reason you are the heir to the Zulu throne and not me is because of what is between your legs. Is it asking too much if you occasionally used it for the betterment of our kingdom? That is what she's like. And so on the chosen day, Tribes from distant territories converged on the Zulu kingdom to witness the marriage of Senzagakona to his first wife. It was an event of some importance to the Zulus. They were not a particularly strong people and needed to form alliances with more powerful tribes with whom they could unite in times of war. King Gondo of the Kwame!
King Makedama of Elangi. Double feature. Tubo of the Zusa. Double Vita! King Jama of the Zulus welcomes you and your families to the house of Zulu. May the festivities today bind our clans in peace. Gitole, when Zulu. I welcome you to the house of Zulu and Domazan. Take care of us, and we will take care of you. Amakans in Tombazan. O Sazara Kona, Oya Momia Moma Solo, Tobia Moyazi, Oya Bem Sola, Utesa Buya, Bam Zara is Bongo, Wausiata, Sangama Zandela, O Kulumera Ache, was a Watiluane, Wamyam Sisa Lepula, Epic on a Limsi Babtara, Obab Sobse, Bungana Sola, Naranda Lakulu, Obab Sobse, Yabunganantao, Yaboya Rusola, Obem no Momse, Yabunganantao, Yaboya Rusola, Obem. Sandas, <laughs> Let's <laughs> go! 
Lelani, Lelani Gossier, Magaba, Zolo Gamalandel, all the ancestors of Amazulu. Please accept this new bride as another child in your home. Grant her happiness and many strong sons. Let there be noise. Let there be laughter. Sacrifice the bull. When will that boy learn to behave like a prince? Yes, take this. Oh, Kuben, why didn't you tell me Nandi will be here? I didn't know the visit, but be careful. She can cause trouble. What trouble can she cause? I own the visit. What if your father finds out? Oh, of course, my lord. Bopa na lingaeba. Bring me beer. You use me as a plaything. My little Elange. Stop it. Marry me. Make me one of your wives. <laughs> Where is my dream? Get it yourself. No! No! <laughs> Babutini? You'll make matters worse.
We've started this together and we'll finish it together. Why have you met with her since your wedding? Sends on a corner, my son. Your spies are my spies. Now answer me. Have the members of the council met to discuss a woman? Answer me. What of it? Does that mean that you intend to see her again? Perhaps. Perhaps. And how would you define her behavior at your wedding? Fiery. Well, suppose you were King Condor of the Quabes. Or so do both than Zeus's. What opinion would you have had of her? <coughs> that she is beautiful. And disobedient. Dangerous. Would you have felt being Condor or so Dubo? That she had insulted you, humiliated you. Your pride should have prevented you from ever wanting to see her again. There is already talk. That she has bewitched you. <coughs> By right, she should have been executed for an act of effrontery to a prince of the Amazon. So you will erase that woman from your mind. That is not a request. It is an order. Kupena! <coughs> Go on, kill him. If it will make you feel any better. Go on, kill him. Leave him! Prophecy was about to begin its determined path. A Sitai wielded all the power at her disposal to bring about a series of events which would ultimately fulfill the terms of that prophecy. Sensagakona's first wife was also feeling the effects of her pregnancy. But all was not well. It appears that forces were working against her. Hmm. 
Have you worked this bad? Yes, Baba. It will be a boy if it lives. He must live! It will be difficult, Baba. The life of us is too weak for both to survive. What are you saying, old woman? When the time comes, you might have to choose. There is no choice. He must live. Don't you worry, my child. Your father will go to King Makadama and Gazana for advice and demand justice. And so it was that a messenger was sent by Nandi's parents demanding that Prince Senza Gakona should acknowledge his responsibility towards their daughter. Closer, my son. Amban. Have you disobeyed my orders? No, Baba. It is as you said. The woman's dangerous. She will resort to anything, even deceit for the sake of her ambition. Send the messenger back. He shall announce that the son of Jama remembers no one by the name of Nandi, daughter of Bebe. If she says she is pregnant, it is either the work of another man or the Ishaka, the disease of the beetle. Dabesita. 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 Senza Ngakona, my son. You send me to our ancestors with a lie. Everywhere, forces were beginning to change the course of Zulu history. The king was dying, and Nandi's child could be born of royal parentage if Senza Kakona became king after his father. <coughs> Meanwhile, Nandi had been summoned to a mysterious meeting in the Enkandla forest. She thought it was to meet her prince, but she did not know. Something a corner. Something a corner. Surround him. He will need you as 
I have needed you. I shall jabba. Kanda basulu. I swear I shall. Generation! Um konto wen go so hisi makate. Nanzo ke ingo si enu bagiti namsanji. Behold him, he of the clan, who is your king today.
What is it? Baba. Speak! Your wife, Baba. She has given birth. Come on, out! Out! Come on! Is it a boy? The midwife said it is quite common. It often happens. Answer me, woman! Is it a boy? Yes. What is it? Baba. <laughs> In Africa, a force had been generated that in time would rock the very foundations of the African subcontinent. Oh! 
Wom 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 w